Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and we are going to go as melting this time around. Let's see what we've got to do for our skins here. Loop with without Rhino skin and Strong Spirit is melting. Oh my god. Uh, reach loop 3 on 1 HP. Um, oh, on, a, on a different game mode, I see, I see. Okay, so pretty, pretty goddamn difficult. <laughs> Pretty goddamn difficult, but I do like melting. Melting's a lot of fun. Basically, melting gets more rads, has very, very little HP, and can explode corpses by using our ability. Uh, it's very, very good with Throne, but, uh, but on its own, it's okay, but it's not amazing. We'll take a crossbow here early, and we'll just get into it and hope that we get Throne, but and can try it out a little bit, because... We do love that, and yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of levels up with this with this fella as well, and we just got to be very, very careful that we don't get hit, because at the minute, everything but a maggot that just hit us there will kill us in one hit. Um, luckily, the maggot did not kill us, but it could have done. Got to be a little more careful than that. Uh, right, so we'll definitely take Bolt Marrow, considering we've got a crossbow now. Good, good. Grab that HP just to get back up to full. But yeah, having a crossbow with Bolt Marrow this early, absolutely beautiful. Honestly, I'm a little bit worried right now. There's a big health chest in here, really? Why? Oh, but you get an overheal out of it, though. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Okay, reasonably good start here. We could take Rhino Skin, um, but I'm going to take Boiling Veins first. As a way to get some immunity to some types of damage. Stop us from getting wrecked. We got a alternate floor here if we want it. And then Shovel there. Uh, I guess I'll take a Shovel over that. And go down to the alternate floor. I'm a little scared about this, but... I've done it now, so... Uh, let's go with this so we get a bit of uh, sleepy time at the start of the stages. Gives us a little bit of time to adjust. We get ourselves more from this. I guess we'll take it. The morph is going to turn him into sheep every now and again, by the sounds of it. Is that everything? Not quite. Oh, you bastard! I should have just pulled out my shovel. I was like so focused then. I wasn't speaking at all because I was so focused on trying to get those guys deaded. Damn it. I really should have just pulled out the shovel there. I thought I could do it. I could not. That was a really good run as well. Slightly annoying. Bolt Marrow again so early, but we'll take Power Craving this time. Assault Pistol's pretty good here. Just a slightly weaker Assault Rifle. I do not mind that. It's definitely better than the default pistol we just started with. Toxic Revolver. That could instantly kill us, so that's a big, big no-no for us. But yeah, Melting's definitely one of my favourite characters. Just any character that's like high risk, high reward, I always like. This is certainly one of those characters. I mean, as you see already, insta-killed myself via that bad boy. Good. Take you out. Blood shotgun, I don't think it's going to be too good for us. I like the fact that the maggot uh, enemies, you can just basically super kill. <laughs> They're all stacked up on top of each other and you can just use your explosions to destroy them. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. I want to try and try and stay away from Rhino Skin for a little bit. I mean, honestly, Rage is probably pretty goddamn amazing as this guy because I can't really get hit anyways. So I'm always going to be stacking Rage. Seems pretty useful. Good. good. I really want to get Throne Butt though. Throne Butt makes the uh, the blood explosions just. So much more valuable. Good, good. Um, there you go. Good, 
Yeah, you can see that they're just doing so much more for us now. Basically, I just want to be spamming right-click as I kill stuff. Damn it! God damn it, I really thought that wasn't going to get me. Uh, that's annoying. Really thought that wasn't going to get me. Good. Like I said, I really want to try and do the the, the, the B skin for this, because it seems like a really good challenge. How does this work? Okay, it literally just puts us at 1 HP. It said minus 2, so I was curious. Now I really am a one-hit wonder. I'm curious to see how this ends up going. I think it's going to go badly. Kraken pistol, hell yeah. Beautiful stuff, easy kill. Oh, that's that's it for this stage. Fair enough. Um, I'll take impact risks, I think. Excuse me, rat. That was a little rude of you to not uh, take damage the way I expected you to. Stop spewing out kids, please. Thank you. Shovel once again. We'll take that. Okay, we got through. And... I guess this could be pretty good as you. Oh, god damn it. I, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go one HP, I need boiling veins for the fire immunity and explosion immunity. Otherwise, things are just not gonna go well for us. I don't think. Gonna lay a tricky foundation. Good, good, and then we get a shotgun. Ooh, yes, love a shotgun. Um, shotgun with eagle eyes as well. Even better. That accuracy increase is quite nice. Machine gun kind of useful as well. We will take it. Nice. Take an easy stage. Onto the boss man's place. Bouncer crossbow will take just as a crossbow. I think it does slightly less damage than the regular crossbow, but still. So let's take out the rest of the, the stage first, and then we'll move on to the boss. Might should get a bit of damage on him there. I think he actually does the same damage as a regular crossbow, you know. Seems very similar, at least. Um, to be fair, Last Wish is a revive without rhino skin or thingy, so maybe I'll take that as a, as a sort of cheaty way to get past it. <laughs> And still have a revive. It's only one pair loop, so it's only one revive. But gives us that sort of second chance we were looking for without breaking the uh, terms of the B skin unlock method. Which is the loophole, the exact sort of loophole that I'm looking for. Yeah, shotgun with eagle eyes here. Clearly proving to be pretty good. Doing a fine, fine job. Oh! I've already used it. God damn it. I've already used it. That was super early to have used it. It's these corridors, man. Yeah. Oh! What the heck? I'm confused at what happened there. I'll honestly say, I'm very confused at what happened there. Okay, apparently that revive did did work for me there. I'm not sure why I managed to block that fair shot then. But hey-ho. So we no longer have eagle eyes. 
We do have Throne Butt now, though. Lightning Screwdriver. Could be good. As I said, Rage Meat is pretty good here. Um, Gamma Guts is probably pretty good as well. Lightning Screwdriver seems interesting at least. What the fuck? Oh, I think I I think I meleeed a missile there. That's fair. I'll accept that. That's fair. Inverted portal here. We can get through that. Nice start. I wanted to go through the inverted one, but the game said no. Um, negate every fourth hit. I'm going to do patience here. Oh, okay. We, uh, we're we going through here. Did not expect this. Did not expect this at all. Pleasantly surprised, I guess. <laughs> um... I guess this... Unfortunately, all the stuff we're getting here is pretty terrible for us. Well, I wouldn't say terrible, but it's just not good. You know what? Yeah, let's let's do a restart. We, we need a better start. Our first mute needs to be good. It needs to be something that's going to give us either a lot of damage or a lot of defense. We also need to get level 2 on the first stage. If we don't, it's a fat restart. That didn't kill me. Dude, I want something to kill me. Thank you. Not getting level 1 on the first stage, especially as melting, is pretty criminal, to be honest. Dude, what what is this? This is evil. Making our way through slowly but surely. Ah, for God's sake, I walked right into that one, literally. Shotgun. Could help, maybe. That's what you need, you need maggots. Maggots are the way to go for uh, leveling up quick. Right, good, good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What do we want to go with here? 25% extra damage um, is pretty amazing considering we're basically always going to be at max HP, so that's pretty good. I like that. And moving through. Jawbreaker is probably better. Jawbreaker, we need the accuracy up though. It's, it's, it can be a little iffy without the accuracy increase. I mean, it's still good, obviously, as you can tell. But accuracy increase would go a long way for this thing. That didn't kill him one hit. Oops, I thought it would. Oh, dude! Why'd you have to shoot? <laughs> Come on now, you don't normally shoot when I'm that close to you. Oh my god, the bandits are so infuriatingly inconsistent. Sometimes you'll be like this, look. And not a single one of them bothers to even dare shoot you. And other times you'll be walking right towards them and be like, Hmm, hello. It's like, just either shoot me or don't. Stop being so infuriating and inconsistent when you shoot me, because it's really confusing and it means that I feel safer than I am. Mini lightning pistol. I've had the lightning pistol. I don't think I've had the mini lightning pistol. So 
Slower enemy bullets could help us here. I'm hoping. Oh! Fuck you guys. Actual Kraken gun here. Nice, I'm liking the Kraken gun. Lightning pistol's kind of risky because it, it, it arcs and it can miss. Yeah, we'll take that. Gonna be hearing that noise quite a lot from this character. See that there? I was really close to that guy and it still missed. Double machine gun is probably slightly more reliable. I would not strictly say better, but definitely more reliable. Um, having that sleepy thing seems super useful early on. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Right, one second. I didn't mean to restart there. That was my bad. Right, get into a run. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Oh, this has been tricky. I mean, I expected it to be melting always is, but I was hoping to get a little bit further than we have so far. We've been having a reasonably hard time. We got level 2 though, that's nice. I want to get Bolt Marrow working again, but Boiling Veins is, is very good for us. We'll take that. Boiling Veins at least helps a good bit. Machine Gun, the Pop Gun is doing much better a job right now, thank you. Fuck! I, just the goddamn big square bullets. I keep walking right into them for some reason. I don't know what it is. Oh, and that guy just double shot me for some reason. I don't know what it is about those big purple bullets. I know they can go through walls and I know they can't be deflected, but for some reason, I don't know if it's to do with the AI of how they fire them compared to normal bandits, but I seem to get hit by them so much more often. Um, also, dude, my mutations have just been so trash. There's like four, four or five mutations that are goddamn fantastic for us as this character, and we've not seen any of them. <laughs> I was doing one of them like once. Oh my god. Ugh. I need to play way more cautiously as this guy, but I just don't want to, you know? I don't want to play cautiously, even though it's literally the aim of the game with this character, but leave me alone. I like playing risky. Like I said, it's just annoying the way that the, uh, way that it works with this. I've gone to the inverted floor. Oh my fucking life. Well, that was a little scary. Grenade launch with Splinter seems not great, but I'll take it. Right. Alkaline Saliva, there's one of the good ones. Alkaline Saliva means we negate the first hit every floor. Very useful for us. Perming. Curious to see how that works with this. Nice. Killed him pretty quick. 
Does Herming do much on this bad boy? No. <laughs> the answer is definitely no. Not ideal. Also using two things that use explosive ammo right now, which probably also isn't ideal. Okay. We're through this area at least. Every damage that deals more than one deals one less. I don't know if that can save us, but I'm going to give that a go. There's a few things that deal two damage that might deal one instead. I know I'm playing it risky now by using explosives. I'm trying to keep my distance as I do it. Assault pistol. Not really good enough. Good. Flame Revolver, I'll take that. Flame Revolver seems decent enough. Yeah, I like this. This is proving to be valuable. Got a bunch of coffers. Coming in. I've negated one hit already. Sledgehammer. Really? A cursed sledgehammer? Normally it's way higher tier weaponry than that. Um, go with power craving here. Go with frost, I guess, on this bad boy. Not ideal, but I'll take it. Somewhat good. Oh, dude. These little steely boys that run around like that. Fucking get out of here. With the splinters and stuff, this should do pretty well. Yeah. Oh, stressful, man. Stressful. Oh, if we die in here, we get an unlock, I'm pretty sure. If we die in the labs as melting, so... I'm... Should I die on purpose? I don't think I'm going to. Heavy sledgehammer. Ah, I mean it happened anyways, there you go. Dying in the labs. It did it for us. It did it. Right. Just take all of these guys out. We got a thingy portal as well here. Go through that bad boy. Um... Again, I'm not, I'm not taking Rhino Skin. I won't do it. I'm going to take Patience. Assault Pistol, thank you. You managed to kill yourself. That's rather nice for me, at least. Good. You need to stop shooting bullets through walls, my friend. Morph on this bad boy, maybe? Why not? A lot of extra rads, a baby. Oh, you little goddamn shit. <laughs> he just managed to sneak a shot through. That was a little rude. Oh, come on now. I, w I just wish my starting weapons were a little bit more useful. I'm getting a lot of really, really trashy starting weapons. That's level 2 at least. Hey. Alkaline Saliva is probably one of the best things we can get because it's basically like a free revive every floor. Pretty 
pretty darn useful. You can honestly probably be very survivable if you take Rhino Skin and stuff as melting as uh, on this mod. Okay. That's it? Good, yeah. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Trigger fingers, absorbing paws, impact wrists is always good, we'll take that. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't realize you were there. Beautiful. Yeah, Impact Wrists is doing a mighty good job for us here. Beautiful. Um, and then, yeah, tough, tough Shell again, I think. Tough Shell is probably the way to go again. Oh, dude, three of these guys early on. Big no thank you on these guys. What's the deal with these bad boys? Too many of them, man. Too many of them. What? How do I not kill that guy? Get out of here. I did actually survive that hit due to the uh, tough shell, by the way. Reduce the damage down to one. We'll take a burr. Nice, nice. Good, good. I like the fact that you can spam the burr a bit more if you uh, don't fully charge it. There you go. Back up to two again. That gives us a bit more leeway. Triple machine gun. Good with accuracy increase. Scarier face I think we'll take. Good. That little shit just flew into the starting area. Get back. Oh, goddamn crows in this game, man. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ugh. It's character. I refuse to take the uh, the easy way out. I will do this. I want to unlock the skins, man. Mini lightning pistol, not very good for us. Jaw splitter, pretty good, I think. Okay. Like power craving. Power craving is always good to take early. Level three. Big health chest for some reason. Pop rifle will take. Okay. Good extra stage there. Pop rifle with um, shotgun shoulders could be good. Last wish is it has that revive. Let's take last wish again then, shall we? What we got going on right now? Last wish and power grading, okay. Have I used it already? I don't think I have. Obsidian throwing knife, nah, thank you. Level four, baby. Okay, leveling up quick. Um, flexible elbow, maybe, for the fire rate bonus. Good. 
Good, good. Yeah, that fire rate bonus is pretty nice. This thing's got fire on it as well, I just realised. Ah, oh, you bastard. I got the revive there. Still, I'm annoyed. Oh, I unlocked a game mode. Nice. Completing a level in under 10 seconds. We could just take one uh, last wish again. That's kind of nice. Um, boiling veins as well. Oh, there was alkaline saliva there, though. Should I have taken that? My bad. I didn't see it. I was impatient. Alkaline saliva is way better. I keep using that free hit literally instantly. Mini plasma rifle. Seems good. Let's take patience because nothing here is good. Mini plasma rifle, the one we had last time, because it was pretty good last time. Oh, <laughs> you dick. What a snipe. Anyways, we'll leave it there for this character. Definitely a fun one, but goddamn so difficult if you're not taking some of the easier modifiers. And we'll, we'll, we'll beat him in due time. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.